guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. What's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? Uh, so this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for January the 2nd until the 9th. So I'm going to be using my deck, my new deck here that I created myself. I just got it back from the printer a couple days ago. Um, so thank you so much for your suggestions, guys. They were all incredibly helpful. Um, so I did have decided, and I've already made the edits to the cards, but I'm making them the original size. These are too big, and I want them as clarifying cards. So um, I don't think there is such a deck that is a clarifier specifically for clarifying out there. Um, so usually what I do is I, I pull a past, present, and future. And so they need to be much smaller so that you can see all the cards. Oh. Three of Wands. Um, so, yeah, the other thing is that um, I, I want them to have rounded ed edges. Um, some of you guys suggested that. Beautiful. Um, also, what I've done is I've taken all of the my original uh, pictures, and I, I took pictures of them. Instead of scanning them in, for some reason, they gave me a lot more detail. Uh, so I've actually fixed a lot of the cards as well, so um, there's more detail on them for sure. And also I fixed the font as well. I, I changed it from, uh, what do you call it, serif, um, when it's kind of like written, like um, writing, to um, block letters so you can see them a little bit better. Um, yeah, and I'm going to keep the blacks uh, for the back. Um, I love the suggestions for putting logos on, but um, yeah, you'll be able to notice if they're upside down right away, right? So um, in my deck, I don't read reversals, but I know that some people might want to. So it does keep it a mystery. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, wow, the, the number of people that, that want to order the cards, I'm just, I'm, I'm, oh my God, so much gratitude. I'm in awe. I'm like, I can't even explain how I, how much appreciation I, I have right now for all of you out there. I almost want to cry. Thank you for the support, guys. And hopefully I can get those cards out to you soon. Okay, so let me just give my deck another quick little shuffle. So I shuffle them really good before I come on camera. And I always just give them a little bit more of a shuffle. Okay, so we will be doing the Twin Flame reading, so let me pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the positions. So you can probably fast forward through this part if you want. If you're waiting for a reading, um, I apologize, um, it, but the holidays have kind of thrown me off a little bit there. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to get those out to you as soon as I can, okay? I'm so, so sorry about that. I know some of you have been waiting for almost three weeks now. I'm so sorry. Just know I think about you almost every moment of the day. <laughs> okay. All right. So, should I use my cards as clarifiers on top of it? My original deck? Um... I don't know, but let's give it a quick shuffle anyway, just in case. I won't be pulling the past, present, and future for every position. I want to try and keep this um, as short as I can. And also I have my little deck here that I'll give a little shuffle for. Hope y'all are enjoying your holidays. 
Okay, so let's begin. Starting with the feminine's past position is the Three of Pentacles. Interesting, because this card um, showed up a lot in last week's reading. There was a, stens a sense of stability that was needed, um, and it was a shared energy between the two aspects. So the feminine feels like she's achieved a sense of stability, groundedness, a firm start firm foundation. Uh, she knows that there's a lot of work left to do, um, but she's feeling successful. So the Three of Pentacles has to do with the 3D reality. Uh, possibly the feminine has been, you know, putting plans, or thinking about plans, uh, planning for the future, um, you know, that kind of thing, and putting her skills to, to work. Um, yeah, so in terms of this connection, she feels grounded, she feels successful. What is in the masculine's past position is the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Uh, so the, each aspect are, you know, kind of vibrating at the same energy. However, here we have the masculine um, either holding on too tightly or being closed off in the 3D reality. Um, this is a fear of losing something or having something taken away from you. Uh, so there's a need to hold on to it. So I'm just going to pull one card from my smaller deck and then um, one from your smaller deck. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a spaz. Okay, so just one clarifier. Nine of swords and then one from the tiny deck. Courage and strength is needed. Okay, so the nine of swords um, is fear, worry, anxiety, guilt, inability to sleep, nightmares, night terrors. So the masculine has been overthinking something in his life, and it's been causing him to be closed off. Now, swords is all about communication, but pentacle uh, is about earth energy, right? 3D reality. So he, he may have been closed off or, yeah, well, he may be closed off right now. And it's because he's afraid to speak or he's afraid of something terrible happening to him. And he he's trying to find the courage or strength to do something. And obviously, it's, you know, to open up. Um... So the other words are restraint, being calm within, uh, self-control, going the distance. So there's this desire to move forward, but he can't. He's stuck in the mind and in the 3D reality. So this is coming in in the past position. Okay, so in the present position is three of swords for the feminine. So heartbreak... Um, deep pain, sorrow. Um, now, sword is also thought, air. Um, and it could be also communication, cutting words that hurt her heart. So the feminine is feeling pain in her heart at the moment. And so one card from my older deck, eight of swords, wow. And one clarifier. So third eye psychic ability into higher consciousness so tapping into the higher consciousness so the feminine she feels oppressed she feels held back she feels imprisoned by the mind so we have some you know mirroring happening here in a you know, in a weird sense um, the heartbreak is coming from the masculine being closed off and in fear, right? The Eight of Swords is an oppressive energy coming from the outside, so something is making her feel this way, you know, locked out, and because of that, her heart is broken. So she she wants to communicate. She wants the masculine to let her in. Um, and right now, she's tapping into her higher consciousness. She's using her psychic ability to pick up on, you know, synchronicities, signs. And it's giving her hope, you know, 
but at the same time this disconnect is stabbing at her heart. There's no way to put it lightly. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, ladies. Okay, so what is in the present position for the masculine is the Nine of Pentacles. Awesome. So the Nine of Pentacles is um, feeling independent, successful, feeling like you've arrived in the 3D reality. Um, you know, we've got a progression here from the four to the, to the nine. So there's growth in the 3D. Um, this card is also about self-love, which is beautiful to see. So I'm going to do the same poll, one clarifier, and I think I might even go back to the Three of Pentacles and do the same thing. So one clarifier, one from this small deck. Okay, so the Five of Wands and give of yourself. So the Five of Wands is overcoming obstacles and challenges. So the masculine, I feel, has successfully overcome some minor obstacles in his way. He had some confidence issues in last week's reading, but I feel that he's overcome that now. Right? This is firm foundation, but an immense amount of growth and stability. Not having to worry about the 3D reality anymore. Uh, not having to worry about finances. There's abundance just flowing into your life. And he's opening up. It says, give of yourself, generosity, volunteer, charity. Um, what I get, what I give comes back tenfold. So, you know, this card is all about prosperity and so is this one, right? So, I feel that here he was closed off, now he's in this opening energy and willing to do whatever is required of him to overcome any challenges that are standing in his way. Okay, um, one minute. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so going back to the Three of Pentacles here, let me just give it a quick shuffle. So you're going to have to trust that I did not uh, mess with the cards. I don't even look at the cards. Um, I enjoy the surprise just as much as you guys do. Okay. And my little deck as well. All right, so three of pentacles. So the full card and home, uh, family, commitment, loyalty, and support. So the, fem uh, the feminine, what I see here, has basically been working on just letting go of control. Um, taking a leap of faith. The full card is beginning from zero point. Okay, there's no expectations, no attachments. So, I, what, is, what is standing out is the fact that the uh, figure here is facing away from the connection. She's still here. She still feels secure and grounded in the connection, but she is leaving it to destiny. She's just eager and excited to begin a new life, um, you know, and it may not involve the masculine. Um, just one minute. Sorry about that. My son keeps interrupting. Um, okay, so, yeah, there's stability, uh, a sense of home and safety, commitment. So she's committed to this connection. She feels grounded in it, but her, you know, it's like she's completely let go of not only control, but just, you know, she, she's just ready to take a leap of faith whenever whenever it's called for. Um, she's not pushing it, she's not forcing it, she's um, working on feeling safe and secure within her own life and, and building on that stability. So the near future for the feminine is Seven of Swords, Seven of Air. 
So the feminine seems to be in her mind quite a bit. The masculine has earth. You have earth and um, air. So Seven of Swords is not trusting, feeling like you're being deceived, lied to, stabbed in the back. Six of Pentacles and someone new, karmic partner. So <laughs> that makes complete sense. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles is um, being open uh, to giving and receiving, very similar to, um, where was that card? Down here, right? Um, Long-term goal of, you know, planning and committing to this uh, connection. So she's being open and she's working on it. Um, sorry, I guess what I was trying to say is over here, the give of, give of yourself. I got the cards mixed up. Over here, uh, generosity, volunteer, charity. Um, when you give, you get back, right? So um, this is a confirmation card, so it's a lower energy card. The main card, Seven of Swords, is not being able to trust, feeling deceived because the masculine um, either becomes open or, you know, continues to be closed off. He's open in the present position, but remember this one is the near future. So the feminine is going to think that there's a scheme or that there's somebody new, um, that he's being sneaky and cunning. So, yeah, um, you know, that makes perfect sense, right? She feels locked out in the present moment. Her heart is breaking, so she wants to know why. Why is this happening? So the mind is telling her why. Near future for the masculine is, wow, Yang, the emperor, divine masculine. So this is being very powerful, authentic. The masculine is really coming into their power. Um, yeah, so let's pull clarifiers. Six of Wands and feeling healthy. <laughs> That's awesome. So the masculine, you know, has grown from this Nine of Pentacles, a feeling of success and stability, groundedness to the ultimate um, figure of stability and groundedness. Right? And it's because he feels healthy within. And the Six of Wands is. Um, Victory and success, feeling like a rock star, feeling um, like people are cheering you on. You know, you're being seen as an example, of course. Look at you. You're shining your light as the divine masculine. And the Six of Wands is also um, being on the right spiritual path. Final come for the feminine is nice. Queen of Wands, Queen of No Fucks Given. So it isn't the Empress, but it is um, a very powerful card for the feminine to be in. Um, the Queen of Wands is a very powerful person. She's a leader. Uh, she is a center of attention. Everybody, you know, all the guys want to be with her. The women want to be like her. Um, she's unchained. It's a fire energy, very passionate. Um, so this could be the feminine becoming creative, uh, you know, voicing her power, showing her power, shining her light. And that's beautiful to see coming out of this darkness. Nice. Ace of Pentacles and wow, it's true love. Beautiful to see. So, the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. It's a brand new beginning in the 3D reality. So, she's being given a gift. And it's a gift of true love. So, it's like, you know, it's almost like the, the masculine offers her this um, new start in the 3D reality. And she accepts because it's true love. I mean, I can't read it any other way, really. 
or maybe she just continues to be open, you know, offering that true love, that gift to the masculine. You know, this could also be the feminine um, saying, fuck it, I'm going to go date somebody else, you know, finding someone new. Okay, final come for the masculine is Three of Cups, Union. Two people coming together to create a third energy, which is love, and then celebrating that love, having that love vibrating within. So he's moving towards love. So there's that Knight of Pentacles again. And spiritual leader. Community. Vows, crown, chakra. So it says... Uh, Ritual, find your tribe. So the Three of Cups is also about finding your tribe as well, your community. The Nine of Pentacles, same card, right? That's in his present position. So it is independence, groundedness, success. So he, what I find, what I'm seeing here is he, he, he becomes a spiritual leader, really. You know, he steps into this role. Um, he finds his tribe. He, he spreads joy. Now, this could be also the feminine coming to him as an independent, you know, person. And they unite. Um, but what I really, f what I'm feeling here is helping other people become unchained or I don't know the sense of celebrating life you know self-love okay so what is the feminine bringing into the union is the five of fire fire five of wands so same card over here this is actually an older card that's why they're different colors I think I want to continue to roll with the orange background more fiery so same card repeating energy here mirroring in his present energy so the feminine is putting up barriers obstacles over here it is a confirmation card but this is a main energy card for the feminine either she's the one that's putting up obstacles or or he is nine of wands and let them in or let them come to you. So the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. It's being beaten down, feeling like giving up, walking away. But you know, the message of the card is that you have it what it takes within you to give it that final push. Um and here this card says resistance to change, solitude, greed. So this very well could be the feminine saying, fuck it, you know, um, you want me, you come to me. You know, you don't want to let them in on some level. This is a very defensive energy and this is obstacles, right? Uh, and the energy could be reversed as well. You know, in terms of this connection, the feminine could see all of this. You know, he's being closed off. Why should I bother even trying to fight for him anymore? He won't let me in, you know, so she's like, let him come to me. I'm not putting any more energy into this connection. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Okay, so what does the masculine bring in? Wow, <laughs> the yang, or yin, divine feminine. Beautiful, reflected energy here. So he's stepping into his power as a divine masculine and when in terms of the connection he sees his divine feminine his yin his mere reflection two of wands and it is reality he's hearing the call um, so the Two of Wands is all about expansion, seeing all the possibilities, you know, walking through that door and seeing the universe looking back at yourself. So there's been this opening in the masculine's um, soul, and you can feel the feminine. 
and like I said, he's hearing the call. He's seeing this connection as something that is real. He, he's feeling drawn to her. Okay, and so what's at the foundation of the connection? Nice, the Knight of Water, Knight of Cups. So this is a shared energy between both aspects. The Knight of Cups is movement forward, courting, offering your hand in marriage, engagement. But it is the desire to move forward in a relationship, to make a commitment. And it is a longing energy. So at the foundation there is this desire to come together and there is movement. The crowning is the eight of wands, eight of fire, so communication. So um, both aspects desire to communicate. There is this elevation of energy and vibration, enthusiasm. This is Cupid's arrows as well. So this card is manifestation. It is reaching for your highest dreams and goals and having them come back to you, have that energy come back to you. But what I'm really feeling here is a desire to communicate, to spread that love, to connect, to um, come together in the 3D as well as at the heart. So the heart-centered energy, wow, the sun. So this is the most positive card in the deck, the best card in the deck. And uh, so the sun is abundance, all good things, every positive emotion you can imagine. It is a return to innocence, purity, it's illumination. So there is this beautiful passion and fire at the heart of this connection. And they are drawn to one another. Um, you know, there's a deep love and a desire to come together for sure. You know, and start this new beginning. The sun is number one. It reduces down to one. But I can understand why the feminine is feeling, you know, this way, like a wounded warrior. She doesn't know what's going on. She keeps getting her heart broken. She keeps getting beaten down. But ultimately, she realizes that this is true love. You know, and she opens herself back up again. Um, the overall energy of the union is the seven of fire. So this is having confidence and strength um, to speak up, knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing those. So we can see that desire to to speak up with the Eight of Wands as a crowning energy, right? There's that progression from the Seven to the Eight. We also see that with the Five of Wands over here as well. Um, the Nine of Wands is a confirmation card, but there's a lot of fire. Um, feeling the need to release some form of energy. And I'm seeing how, you know, this... Um, megaphone is pointed towards the masculine. It's like, speak up, say something. You know, all this not knowing is really playing tricks on my mind. Um, and I feel like giving up and walking away. So, feminine return to that feeling of, you know, uh, groundedness within yourself. You know, don't allow these thoughts to continue to play at your mind. Um, we can see that the masculine is moving towards becoming this important leader or role model in society. Um, there's a lot of success and abundance coming towards him, and it's so that he can, you know, reunite with the feminine. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from Miss Mermaids, and this will be a final message from the universe. 
and also the Queen of Wands is somebody who has that confidence to speak up, right? Seven of Wands, uh, seven of Wands is also being on the correct spiritual path. So if there's something that you want to say, say it, but say it with love and say it with confidence, right? Don't lash out at somebody because of the thoughts that are in your mind. So the feminine first. Nice. Seashell princess. And the masculine is trilobites. That's my favorite card. Okay. So, for whimsy's sake, I long to live down along the sea, a million miles of sand to walk alone, just you and me. The smell of sea salt in the air, the sea sprung breeze of weather fair, each other's thoughts, our only care, a life of living free. Perhaps a sunny sacred strand where skies are always blue, a million pearls strung in my hair to show your love, love is true. Show your love is true. Right? Okay, so the summer sun's forever hot. I found the one I've always sought. Everything else now matters not as long as I'm with you. Doe eyed princess adorned with the bounty of the sea daydreams to her heart's content. She is a romantic, a dreamer who listens intently to her own desires and has the passion to pursue them. So that's what the Knight of Cups is all about. So the message is to go after your heart's desire. There's a dream stirring in your heart that needs attention. You have felt drawn to follow and nurture it, but you have you are having trouble letting go of practical considerations and diving into the unknown. And the fool card is diving into the unknown. Um, know, however, that while many people reach for the stars, only the passionate actually climb up and grab them. Look inside yourself and rediscover the dream that has been buried under the trappings of day-to-day -day consideration and obligation. Reimagine the ideal life you've longed for in the past and write down in detail. Put it down in, on paper and make a commitment to your younger self to strive and dream once again. So Spirit is asking you to open up once again. Dream, right, and go after your heart's desire, right? This is your heart's desire. Okay, so number 44 for the masculine. Trilobites. Rome was not built in just one day, nor are fossils formed in one season. Timeless concepts oft take time to convey. Without doubt, this provides us with good reason to slow down, sit back, meditate, and delay. Take stock of all the words we ought to say, and weigh all the oaths and debts to repay, thus avoiding irrevocable treason. treason. A timeless maiden stares serenely into space as she embraces her trilobite friends. Shielded by the ancient creatures, she is a symbol of ageless beauty and utmost patience. This is a girl who knows how to wait. The meaning is to expand your timeline. Trilobites are ancient creatures who once roamed our oceans for millions of years. Over time they have become the but fossil memories. Just as it took millennia for them to change, so too your situation will, may, will take time much longer. Sorry, um, let me do that again. So too your situation will take much longer to mature than you originally thought. Take heart, however, this, is ta this time will do you good. Take this opportunity to meditate on your past and future actions. Consider your words and perhaps even rehearse your lines over and over again until you have everything just right. But more importantly, do not rush. Take your time and let each situation ripen in its own way. You may not know precisely what you what you are waiting for, but worry not. The time is not wasted. Mentally expand your timeline and make good use of your weight. So, um... You know, I don't see a lot of movement on the ma masculine side. I do see a lot of, you know, stopping basically and looking after himself. These cards are mostly all about self-love. So there may have been movement in the past and there's a desire to move forward in the future, accelerated motion. Um, but right now there's a lot of healing happening for the masculine and Spirit is saying that's okay, take time. Um, 
you know, you've been closed off in the past for a reason. You weren't ready yet. All right, guys, so I hope this helped. I love you so much. Cheers.